Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, I would like to say that uh, I was in Mogadishu this Monday. Uh, I flew in for, from Nairobi and uh, I spent uh, a few hours there to meet the uh, government official and to have an idea of uh, what the situation is. And I must say it is very sad to see uh, a, a capital city I have known in, in the 80s uh, becoming uh, a shanty town. And it, it is very sad uh, to see how the city, the population, and the country are taken hostage by the uh, uh, those who, who have been fighting uh, in destroying their country over the last uh, 20 years. Uh, uh, s second, uh, I, uh, I would like to, to say one word about piracy. Uh, I, I think the international maritime presence is increasingly successful. Uh, why? Uh, it is successful because uh, pirates have to go further away. The gains they are making are more expensive. I mean, they spend more on what they may get as ransom than a few months ago. Uh, many have been captured. We have about 100 already arrested. Uh, I don't know how many have disappeared, unfortunately, on high sea. I think financiers behind them are also aware that they are being watched and the people may look into further. So the operation, uh, which is, in my opinion, a sign of solidarity with Somali people and with people in the region, is what I, I can call successful. And it is international. You have Russian, you have Korean, you have Japanese, Chinese, Arab, Iranian, African, American, and European in NATO, and Norway is planning. So it, it is, uh, it, it is uh, overall interesting. Uh, I would like to say that one overriding problem still in Somalia not often reported or talked about is still there. It is a problem of impunity. People who have killed, displaced, maimed, are still uh, around, whatever in Somalia, in Nairobi, or in, uh, in their new uh, country home. And those who are inside Somalia, uh, Proning violence have put their family in safe heaven in uh, outside Somalia. So uh, impunity to me is uh, still very uh, overriding issue uh, to be addressed. Uh, on, uh, on the region, at the uh, regional level, uh, IGAD uh, held uh, an extraordinary council of ministers to in my opinion, to show solidarity with a member state. They consider victim of uh, an external aggression. And uh, they made the report you, you, you have seen. And I, I think they, my understanding, they are planning to play the role uh, ECOWAS played in West African crisis of Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Sierra Leone. Uh, and uh, they, it is a role more or less similar to that of uh, SADC when they had a crisis in uh, front line uh, in the 80s, 90s, and uh, later on uh, Zimbabwe. One last point. In the coming days, I, uh, I plan to be in London we have uh, uh, an important meetings. I'm organizing with Foreign and Commonwealth uh, Office in London on 8 June. And uh, I expect that meeting to be uh, well attended. And uh, I am also chair, a chairperson of uh, 
a friend of Somalia group called the International Contact Group, organized, uh, established a uh, few years ago by U.S. and Norway. And uh, I have been chair for the last uh, 18 months. Uh, that group was supposed to meet in, uh, in Rome. Uh, I have not postponed the meeting yet, but uh, I have request to delay it till we draw lessons from the meeting in, uh, in London, which is taking place on, uh, eight, on 8 June. So uh, I am pleased to be with you to respond to all your questions. And uh, these are the points uh, I am ra raising with you. And I'm at your disposal for any question. Thank you.